Hello and welcome to this practitioner film. So this film is designed for teachers and practitioners working with new to ESOL learners and it's very closely linked to Unit 2 on the theme of recycling from the new to ESOL materials. Pre and post watching tasks can be done in class or remotely and we're going to talk about those next. To prepare for using the video, it's a good idea and I strongly recommend that you use the unit, My Local Area, Topic 2. There are lots of good ideas to use whether you're working in class or remotely. So first of all, get some pictures and photos, images or items of actual rubbish, items that you can recycle, items that you can't recycle and use those either in class or through a video platform, a learning platform, whatever you're using. You can start by showing images of recycling symbols, but it's important to find out where your learners live and what kind of recycling happens where they are. The film we made took place in Lambeth and obviously the colours of bins and recycling things that they use there may be very different where you live. So it's important, if you can, to have some kind of discussion with your learners before they watch the film about what they already know about recycling. And the word recycling may be a, a new word for them, which you'll need to teach. So perhaps use images, translation. You may need to use peer support as well. Remember, speaking comes first. So it's really important to encourage learners to talk and say what they know about the topic in their own language perhaps and then trying to say it in English as well. If you're using the film remotely, another pre-watching activity is to ask learners to find certain items in their home. So you can make it into a kind of game. Go and find a can, find a glass jar, find a piece of paper and get them to come back and hold it up to the camera. So in that way, they can learn the vocabulary for some of these items as well. Before showing the film for the first time, it's good practice to set a couple of questions, very general gist questions. So it gives them a reason to watch the film and an idea of what to expect. So set a couple of really simple ones like, you know, where is the, the film taking place? Inside a house or outside? How many bins do you see? And you can give them a choice of, you know, one, two, three, four. Uh, what colour bins do you see? Give, again, the choice of colours. And you can always ask them to sh hold up their fingers for the number of bins or have little cards with colours for them to hold up the colours if they can't read the colours and you're, you're working remotely. So um, there are lots of different things you can do just to give them a reason for watching the film the first time before they really focus on the language. If you're working remotely, another thing you can do is to record the questions for them, the, quest the comprehension questions. So they listen to the questions and then watch the film and answer the questions orally. So you can send a little audio recording rather than a text message or a, a written message if they can't read it. Once you've checked learners understand the questions, and it's really important to check they understand the questions you've set before you play them the, the film, play them the film through once and then check their answers. If they need to see the film again, play it again. Play it as many times as they need to see it to get the, the answers as to how many bins or where it's taking place or how many people they see in the film. Remember, it's not a test. You're trying to encourage them to get used to the sound of the language and hear the words that they need to learn. Now set two or three comprehension questions. So these could be things like tick the items you see the person put in the bin. So you could have a sort of multiple choice. You could have a list of items such as paper, pen, can, glass, tea bags. You could have a list of items and then they tick the ones they see being put into the bins. That could be one question, a multiple choice. Again, this could be done orally, the question, 
um, or it could be a text. And then there could be a questions about which bin you put glass in, which bin do you put the nappy in, which bin does everything go in? So you can have some comprehension questions to check they understand first what's happening in the film and to learn the vocabulary. You could also use the film to focus on the differences between spoken English and written English. And one really good way of doing this is to play a very short clip of the spoken dialogue and ask learners to say how many words they hear, for example. So when somebody says, which bin does the, does the bottle go in? You listen and say, how many words is that? Because obviously when we're speaking, we push the words together and when we see it written, the words are all separate. So there are lots of ways you can use the film to develop your learner's language so they can practice speaking and pronunciation. They can practice the dialogue themselves or vary the dialogue. So obviously that gives a lot of speaking practice. You can focus on grammar. So the modal verbs can and also the verb put and prepositions such as put, put it in the bin. So lots of those, that kind of practice, language practice and grammar practice. You could obviously focus on vocabulary, the words recycle, brown bin, black bin, blue bin, the vocabulary, the colours, numbers, one, two, three, four, etc. So there are lots of ways you can use the film for language practice and language development. So now we're talking about the follow-up activities and there are lots of ideas in this unit. So you have things like word picture matching, which we've talked about. Um, again, some words, whole word recognition, important terminology. And then there are some additional ideas here, um, ideas for differentiation. So things like asking learners to talk about what recycling they do and um, demonstrating finding relevant pages on their own website. So finding information on websites and their local council website, that's a useful one. And writing something on top tips, sharing some top tips on recycling and writing um, a little poster, designing a poster, for example, um, writing instructions about recycling, bringing in items that, that are not good to recycle. So there are lots of ideas in the unit itself. So please do look at it. And there are lots of other ways you can use the film.